Okay, so to start this look, I'm going to prime my lid, and I'm priming it using uh, an eye primer by Sephora. It was about five bucks, so really reasonable primer. I feel like primers are all over the place right now, so you can get primers in whatever your price point is. Um, I usually use Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but for some reason I cannot find it. So I'm just using this. Um, I'm going to take a white eyeliner. Uh, this one is by the Sephora brand, just like the primer. I'm going to put that right under the highest point of my brow, swiggling that back and forth. And then right on my inner tear duct, I'm going to draw like a little V, like a little letter V. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, so I'm just going to blend that out just so that, um, you know, the inner part of the eye, we're just creating a brightness because the outer part uh, is going to get a little dark. Um, and then this is just going to help us build upon the light color for the highlight. Uh, uh, going into this quad, I'm just taking a flat uh, dome brush from Coastal Scents into the lightest color. I'm going to have to buy a new one of these very soon. Uh, just putting that right underneath the eyebrow as the highlight color. This is a matte color, so there's no shimmer to it. Taking that same color, putting it right on the inner tear duct, and just letting a little bit get up, get onto the eye, and then right underneath here. Okay. Okay. Uh, now taking this bronze color and really getting it onto the brush, getting it onto the tip of the brush, really getting it in there tap off the excess and put that all over the eyelid. Just using a padding motion, you can use padding, sweeping, you know, change the direction of the brush any way that you want to get this color on there all over the lid. It just has a lot of shimmer to it because um, it is a bronze color. So the padding motion will really ensure that you're getting enough color on the brush and then placing it right on the lid in a way that it's going to remain vibrant. We're going to just take a little bit of toilet paper or tissue. I've just kind of, you know, folded this over a little bit. You just want to fold it in a way that you can just get one straight edge. And taking a pointed crease brush. So we're going to get this uh, chocolate brown color right here, right onto the brush. And then just make sure you tap off the excess. Then taking your folded little tissue, you just want to put that uh, right along your uh, right along your face to create the outer V. But we want to really create a dramatic looking edge. Hence why this look is an everyday drama. So we're just putting that right on the outer V, sweeping a little bit onto the lash line, a little bit of that brown. Okay, but just making sure to create a really dramatic hard edge. Sometimes people like to use tape to do this. Um, okay, so now we've got that dramatic V going. I'm going to take a crease brush into the um, this like taupe kind of color. Okay, getting it right on there. Really tapping off the excess. Okay, I'm going to put my tissue back up and I'm going to use that um, as a blending color to blend out that dark brown. Make sure you're blending out the bottom part of the V too. Just to soften it and 
just work it, you know, back and forth, circular motions. You just want to blend out the harsh line, but keep the color. Okay. Then we can take down that tissue again. Okay, now with the pointed crease brush, uh, going back into that dark brown, and I'm going to run that uh, halfway along my lower lash line. And that's why you wanted to make sure that you put primer down there. And because this is a daytime look, nothing is going to be too dramatic, you know, just the nature of the colors. Um, kind of tone it down. Right? So now we're all set with the eyeshadows. Now we're going to move on uh, to eyeliner. So I have a um, retractable eyeliner pencil by Jordana. I got this at Walgreens. So with retractable pencils you can't sharpen them. So the way that I like to sharpen them is by taking tissue and just dragging the brush uh, dragging the brush, dragging the pencil along the tissue till I get a point. Should have done it before and after, but this is definitely pointier. Hope you guys, hope the camera focused on that. So I'm going to line my lower waterline. Then I'm going to line along my upper lash line and this, uh, do it nice and thin, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to smudge this out with that pointed crease brush because we don't want any harsh lines. You know, I was thinking about using liquid liner, but I said to myself, no, this is like a daytime drama look and liquid liner during the day is um, a little overly dramatic. Um, so, now that I've got that liner along the top, nice thin line close to the lash line, taking my pointed crease brush, I think I'm just going to wipe off a little bit of that brown. Uh, I'm going to use that to smudge out the black liner and just smudge it nicely along that lower, I mean along that upper lash line. And this creates a soft look, but gives, you know, really nice, lush definition. All right. And now I'm just going to go on to mascara. I'm using Max Studio Fix Lash in black. I'm going to do about three to four coats of this. So starting from the outer part of the eye, wiggling the wand at the base and then working my way to the middle wiggling the wand. Um, wiggling the wand really helps to co coat every single eyelash. Now I'm just going to turn my wand a little bit so I can get a little bit more mascara on. Um, this helps to create a lot of fullness from the lashes. Right now I'm going to go in for that second coat while the first coat's still wet and taking the wand from the roots to the tips, winding um, it up. I'm not sure what you guys thought that this was going to be, but Daytime Drama is the name of this look. I achieved it using the Maybelline Quad in Chai Latte. It's dramatic, uh, it's fun, it's really easy. Um, so I hope you guys try it. Bye.